second harvest is marking a major milestone. The food bank has been helping people here in Central Florida struggling with food insecurity for 40 years. That's right. It is incredible. And I took a look back at how the food bank got its start and how its mission has evolved with the changing times. Day in and day out. Hundreds of thousands of meals are packed up, shipped out, and distributed to hungry families, seniors, veterans, and children all across Central Florida through Second Harvest Food Bank. And see, there's food stacked in pallets much higher than their heads. A far cry from where the organization began 40 years ago. Anna Palmer Darkus is deeply connected to Second Harvest, a former board member, but also the daughter of one of its founders. And, and during my early days on the board, that's how I was introduced. Did you know her dad was one of the original board members? Anna told me the idea for the food bank came from a magazine. A man named Bill Martin told his friends at church about what he read, and they went from there. Richard Braby, Paul Gage, Bob Walker and Anna's father, Mac Palmer, joined Bill. They filed the paperwork, rented a warehouse, started collecting donations and holding fundraisers. Every Tuesday night, the Community Food Bank of Orlando delivers bread, fruit, vegetables. In 1983, run almost entirely by volunteers, Community Food Bank was born. You know, even back then, I think we realized this was a big deal and an important deal and something incredibly worthy of our support. Collecting this food is, is I think, a, a good example of the community pulling together. In 1989, they joined the Second Harvest Network. Without getting it from the food bank, we'd have to pay full price for it somewhere else and wouldn't be getting as much. By the mid-90s, Second Harvest was distributing about six million pounds of food a year, which Chief Development Officer Greg Higgerson says is about what they distribute in a month today. What I'm, I think I'm most proud of is we've been able to take it from an idea of just you know giving people what they need to survive and bringing it to uh, a place where people are actually able to thrive because they have more food. In 2014, operations moved to Mercy Drive, where they remain today. But it became clear Second Harvest needed to do more than just change facilities. You want to take your hand and push it in. Like the culinary training program, teaching people cooking and life skills. The goal? To get and keep a solid job and, in turn, shorten the line of those who need help. President and CEO Derek Chubbs. I think it's been a learning process for us and it continues to be a learning process for us from uh, just trying to fill a few gaps you know, 40 years ago to trying to determine the actual root causes of hunger in the first place and realizing that that in and of itself is multifaceted and what we need to look like in order to meet the needs of our community. New programs are delivering meals to those who are homebound. Medically tailored meals help those with chronic illness eat better to hopefully improve their health. If they're healthier, they don't have as many medical bills, freeing up money for them to get ahead. Programs Mac Palmer couldn't have imagined 40 years ago, but proudly watched develop until his passing in September. Sometimes I think he was just speechless. <laughs> But he was very, very proud to have been around during the early days and, and he was always impressed, just tremendously impressed and with, the, with the caliber of the people that it attracted, with the, um, with the quality of the work that they did here, always impressed.